Hey everybody, this is Missy McQuarrie with MoreThanJustAVocalCoach.com. I've been teaching vocal lessons for more than 15 years. I just started doing reaction videos and um, Billie Eilish, When the Party's Over, has been suggested, so here we go. If you like what I have to say, if you want to hear more, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any suggestions of what you would like me to cover, please leave it in the comment section. So without further ado, let's enjoy. So when the party's over, I'm not going to interpret this song. I'm just going to sit here and listen. I'm not going to, and I won't harmonize with you guys. You've been on time to <laughs> if you are. No, it's okay. It's cool. It's very early, people. The song is two octaves. That is it? So it in other is. words, this will be difficult it's to perform. Okay, dude, two octaves in one song, in a pop song, is not so common. So, for some perspective, that's just a lot of vocal range, okay? I mean, you know, some of these heavy-hitting singers, they will do, you know, a lot, a lot of vocal range in a song. Like the Demi Lovato one, I don't know what the actual range was of that one. But anyway, so what I'm trying to say is, that's a lot. When I was in songwriting class at Berkeley, I was... I gave a song to the professor to review, and he's like, you realize that this is an octave and a half melody? And I said, no. And he's, I was like, "What's is that okay? He's like, well, if you're going to sing it, then yeah, I'm sure that's fine. But if anybody else is going to sing it, it's not going to be easy because that's a lot of range. Not everybody can cover that. And as she is realizing here, I can see this video is about a year old. Um, she's realizing, oh my God, I have to do this every day <laughs> for the rest of my life. See, that's what happens. If you write a nice hit song and it's hard, you have to keep singing that hard song for the rest of your career. So, um, but that being said, I'm sure she does a great job. Let's Four. very difficult. Let's this will be a good test for you. Let's it's see. It's hard enough to do on a good day. So. I feel that. I say you're going to do it. Okay. All right. I <laughs> Okay, so this is a sign of being tired, that vocal fry coming out like that. Um, vocal fry, I was just talking about in the Demi video, just barely hitting on it. There's nothing wrong with what she's doing. Actually, I really like it. I think it adds a nice element that I don't think exists in the actual recording, from what I remember. Um, but that being said, you can tell she's tired, um, but she's hitting those low pitches. Thank you, thank you, Billy, for bringing back articulation. I can actually always understand what she's saying, and I like that it is a priority in her music. See, this is what happens when you have a two octave song. It might be hard to keep, you know, supporting in that spot in this song. So many people struggle to hit it. Um, you need to keep your diaphragm muscle engaged, your breath support there. And particularly where the highest note in this melody comes at the end of all of that. It's beautiful, by the way. I just think it's a great melody. It's just hard. It's hard to keep supporting um, all the way through and then your highest note is at the end and with this style of music she also is not trying to overdo it and like I don't want to say over sing but you know what I mean she's not trying to Broadway that she's trying to just just barely touch it and so in so doing she kind of missed it and, and the breathiness came out just the air um, because her voice is tired and maybe her folds are not fully coming together. That's where the airiness happens when you're ah, ah. That's all that's really mechanically happening there. I appreciate that she didn't push too much. Honestly, she shouldn't Quiet, I'm going home and I 
you can hear on quiet the separation happening like she so actually i was just talking about this comparing to the demi video i will say that uh quiet when i'm coming home she's very i don't think she even can fully connect there so she might her voice is definitely a little tired. And let me just say that there are a lot of great vocal exercises out there that I do with my Patreon all the time, all month long, that actually help encourage your folds to pull together. So if your voice is sounding tired like this, there are things you can do to get it to come together. Eyebrows too? I don't know. <laughs> don't know too much Just again. Ready. I like that she actually articulates that in a way that you can understand what she's saying. eyebrows are all over the place and expressiveness is really important on stage however if you are singing through the song and you cannot hit the notes without your the furrowed brow is what I refer to in my lessons a lot then um there are this can be an indicator of internal tension and I'm not sure that's the case What happens when you write a melody that's two octaves, but I love you for it. I mean, if she, I don't know if she actually warms up. I don't know how tired she is, but this is why it is so important to take such good care of your voice because when you get on stage, people are always criticizing. People are constantly noticing these things um, now more than ever. And it is possible if you just, stay focused on taking good care of your voice to continue to hit those notes. Um, so it's a little sad to me to hear her not able to get it on the second one, but it's okay. Um, we all understand from what I'm saying that this is, this is a long melody. It's a long melodic line. It goes very high. And um, especially if she doesn't do any exercises. I mean, I can say that if she doesn't, then I, I wouldn't be surprised that you're having a hard time getting through the range of the song. And also, when you do have a rangy song in particular, I recommend vocalizing and warming up from the low notes all the way up to the high notes and then back down to the low notes on every exercise. People sometimes, I think, make the mistake of not vocalizing on the low notes and just kind of starting up a little bit, you should start down at the bottom. I mean, especially if you need to vocalize those notes in your song. Ooh. That was a cool little riff. Just beautiful tone. just an amazing tone and this is why her voice is so popular and why everybody wants to be her <laughs> because um of the tone she uses now we can experiment with timbre and tone and a lot of it comes from just getting your voice to relax uh don't mimic her be yourself i will say there's just there's a lot of people that i work with they're 
you know, trying to copy her so much and you have to do you. Billy does Billy and she does a great job of it. Um, and I just really appreciate it. And I appreciate everybody who tries to just be themselves because ultimately you get your best voice and you get your best performances from just embracing what your voice is. Yeah, I can tell she's tired because you can you can just hear that it's she's having more trouble to get a clear sound. If you review the video, you'll probably notice a little bit more than I'm mentioning, but yeah. Also, speaking of microphones, so that mic is super hot, pretty much through the entire performance. In the Demi uh, Lovato video that I covered, there's just, there has to be a lot of range with that. But a part of why we can hear her articulation, she's not working terribly hard to articulate. She's not overdoing it. It's just that that mic is hot and it's picking everything up really nicely. I could lie, say I like Yeah, and she is very closed, okay, as she's singing uh, a lot of that. Something that you can keep in mind is that even though in my last video I talked about, you know, how you open up, uh, how I liked that when Demi was singing she was opening up, I like how she's not, okay? It adds to her tone. Where you place your jaw will add to your tone. Okay. <laughs> it is beautiful. She has a beautiful voice and I hope she continues to take care of it so that she can continue to perform that song. Now, obviously we caught her in this video feeling tired on a rangy song. And so I think I've pretty much drilled home the point there. You have to take care of your voice and you have to be ready. So if you write a song that's rangy, be ready to perform that all the time. So thank you for the suggestion, and um, if you like what I have to say here, please subscribe to my channel. Please leave comments below if you have any suggestions of any other videos that you would like me to review. Thanks for sticking with me.